Hello family and friends, welcome into your spiritual nourishment. I am your shaman empress, aka the shaman hummingbird. So we have a new moon in Taurus, okay? So if you have a Taurian placement in any of your four sound placements, this will affect you to mo the most. Also hit the link below, cafeastrology.com to learn more about each four sound placement and how Taurian will affect you if you have that in your placement, guys, okay? Also, this is a good time to take a look at where Tessorian is in your chart. All right, to also get a little bit more um, detail on this energy, just to drop a little jewel on you. Now, Tessorian, all right, you guys, um, first of all, happy birthday to you, okay? I hope you guys are having an amazing birthday. So, you rule, you rule Venus, okay? The planet of love, you're ruled by Venus, okay? Um, and you also rule productivity, money, and practicality. So some of you guys could be feeling that strong, crazy urge. Um, if your twin flame is a Taurus or a cusp, you will also be uh, dictating their energy. All right, this is um, that bull energy, that driven energy. You might be getting a lot of downloads just of projects when it comes to money, getting out, manifesting things that you got to get done and you're doing. Um, it could really uh, be a little bit pushy at times. Some of you guys might have to find some groundness, uh, something to keep you more ground and content. Um, crystals, getting out more, being more, uh, you know, uh, productive can also help. Just make sure it's with something that you love, okay? That will really give you that um, release and energy that you're seeking for, okay? All right, now, back to the real shit, right? <laughs> Let's talk about love. So, we're going to see what's going on with your love life also under this energy. Um, this is someone here that could be um, very, very driven at this time under this energy when it comes to you and them. So, let's take a look. All right, very uh, practical, all right, when it comes to you and them. So, let's see. Messages for the collective, for Tessorian. Almighty, beautiful universe and Holy Spirit. So messages for the collective, please, for Tessorian. Messages. Almighty, beautiful universe and Holy Spirit. Alright, feels good. Some of you guys might want to take a deep breath to, um, you know, connect with the energy and frequency of the reading. Okay. Okay, right here. Okay. Oh, fat, uh, yeah, this person is thinking of you. Aqua airing energy. Yes, they are. Look at that. <laughs> Listen, all right, this person is thinking of you. We got the King of Pentacles, Arian to Saurian energy. All right, uh, Aqua Arian. All right, uh, yeah, this, you don't know this. This person doesn't tell you how much they do think about you. Maybe how much they want to, um, yeah, make you an offer. This person sees you at the Nine of Pentacles. This person also wonders if you are still single. They wonder what you are doing. This person wonders who you're spending your resources and time. Now, somebody's been counting up your money, too. Maybe this is because they want to work with you. All right. Oh, child. All right. Death card. Okay, so things ended with this person or this is someone here is thinking if you ended things with them or this is someone that could be putting it into this. They could be thinking that. Yeah, that's the truth in the Seven of Cups. All right, this person wants to put it into confusion. Now, I feel like um, collective, if this person doesn't feel like this is going to happen or you guys are not going to have a conversation to end things to confusion, then they'll just walk away in this all together. This could be someone that's tired of being in their head with no action. We have death swords, cups, and pentacles. Okay? There's no action here. They want to make an offer. And this is a big offer, king of pentacles. But there is um, no action. There's no wands. And if you're not growing you're dying so this this is someone that's tired of it they, this is also someone that could have you know um realized seven things about this connection that you're experiencing with them whether this is your twin flame or a mate to your soul this is also someone here you know they they want to clear up some things you know before you know and then maybe you guys decide if you want to walk away or not scorpion all my airbenders are here Gemini, libra and aqua arian Okay. 
Uh huh. Damn, the Emperor. The Empress, oh my gosh, in the world court. All right. Okay, so this person's been distanced from you. Someone here, okay, this is the thing. Someone here was playing my games. Someone here definitely ended things with you because they were having another connection here with someone else. That's just what it is, the Empress and the Emperor. This came out in the weekend reading as well. So I'm not surprised that a little bit of this energy is here. Someone here could have been hot in the fact that they um, were engaged or even married. That's the truth of why they ended things with you here. This person thinks a lot about uh, telling you this. They came up with a couple different ways of... Someone here wants to justify why they ended things Someone here do, and this is the truth, whether this hurts or not. They know that this truth could bring a death, an ending. Yeah. All right. Someone here also, um, you know, um, now for others of you guys, I'm also seeing... Somebody here that's uh, also have been trying to, uh, you know, get clarity through how they view their parents' relationship. They could have even compared you to, like, their mom and their uh, their dad here. All right, this connection or something like that is also what I'm getting here for some of you guys here. Okay, um, so you know that this is someone that looks for that here. They could have felt like, um, you know, uh, you know, they didn't take no action. They went somewhere else. All right. So uh, we got seven, five. Some of you guys could be 57. All right. That is your angel number, guys. We'll grab that and then we'll go a little deeper. All right. So 57 angel number means you are on the cusp. Of an incredible breakthrough. Major life cha changes are sweeping you into life at a rapid rate. That's the thing. That's why this person wants to talk to you. I feel like someone here could have um, ended things with you and had another connection. Went another way here with the death card, the empress and the emperor, and the king of pentacles. See, the thing is, there's two masculine energy. Whether you are alpha female or not. It doesn't matter whether you're a man or woman. You know where to put the energies and the frequencies. But this is someone here that went towards another connection. This is someone here, you know, they could be a parent as well. They could have also did what their parents told them to do or showed them to do when it comes to relationships. They stayed because of children, finances, something like that. But you are about to have the biggest breakthrough ever. I feel like you could be pulling the King of Pentacles. And if you are on here wondering wondering if this was your devout counterpart, you know, everybody's not twin flames or made to your soul, it was. Yep. Mm. I keep hearing want to talk about it. This person wants to talk about it. This is also someone here, um, they could want to, you know, uh, go somewhere far away or somewhere private, somewhere where you guys wouldn't be, you know, um, well seen, well known. A lot of people wouldn't know where you were to have a real ass, like, conversation with you and them. All right, that involves some truth here. Mm-hmm. If um, this person, um, someone here, you know, already asked, uh, you know, um, you know, people around them, people who play mother, daddy roles, brother, six big cousin roles about their opinion and, the, and what they did, okay, when they ended things with you, just so you know that. But it doesn't stop this person regardless. This is also someone that could have took that opinion, but it didn't. St it doesn't stop them still wanting to have this truth with you. Okay, let's get into the death card. And the thing about this is, this other connection, this other relationship, it didn't work neither. This could be another reason why this person want to come back to you. Um, and 
you or you're about to have an offer or make an offer. And now they want to talk about it before things get any worse than what it, what it already has begun. <laughs> yeah, honey, they worry. Gemin and energy down the source. That's what this full moon of Taurus is bringing in. What's the death card? They scared to death, honey. You about to uh, take some action somewhere else. Yeah, what's the death card? Oh, my beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, they've been going back and forth about why they ended things with you. Child, I told you. Child, listen. Look, now the ones in reverse. This person is ready to, yep, they're ready to open up Ace of Swords. Look at that and tell you the truth, yep, because they want to be victorious with you now. Yep, and th but they this offer came after they walked away and after they took a chance, okay? And that's the thing. They could be nervous and worried because they ended this with you, you know, and went here and now they want to come back and it's like, how do you explain that? Something like that, you know, it's going to kind of put them in like the hot seat. What's the world card? Yeah, the devil in reverse. I told you it ended because it was toxic. There was secrets that have priestess and a devil card. This is someone that was hiding the fact that they was the devil or they was the veil. And they had secrets. Yeah. Oh. Damn it. I'm so pissed off. This person got cheated on. Yes, they did. Hold up. This was a younger person. Now, some of you guys, this person could have cut your person off and went somewhere else. So they played you to... Yes. Yeah, <laughs> Child, this, per, this, this person played you to have this connection. And this person left them for somebody else. Yep. They could have... or you know, I mean, it could have been your person that walked away from this person. We got the two... They left your person hanging. The two, the two of cups in the hangman. They left your person hanging. Yeah, they did. Ten of Swords. They could have uh, uh, just quit talking to them. They betrayed them. They sure did. They betrayed this person. And to be honest with you, we got a Princess of Swords and a Princess of Wands. Somebody here could have been portrayed for it. Now listen, I, don't, I ain't against what you like. Yeah, honey. Let me tell you something. I ain't against what you like. You like what you like, right? But the secret here is, child, this person could feel stupid because they got played for the same sex. So, back, for some of you guys, so this if this was a woman, they left this person for another woman. For a lot of you guys, that's what it was. Now, I could be talking to the same sex. This could be some, I mean, they left your person for, so you're, okay. Let's say you, you're a man and a woman. I'm just using, so you know how to follow me. Your person played you for somebody else. The person they played you for played them for the same sex. Well, goddamn. Uh, damn it. Child, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, honey. And they've been in a... Ma that, that's... So, this is someone here that could have been, you know, bisexual that they were connecting with. And, you know, they was with your person. They liked your person. Your person could have liked that about this person. Maybe that's what drew your person into this person. But this person, you know, could have tried your person. Uh, it's cool. They tried it. They didn't really like it. And they went towards the, you know, well, you know, I like both people. And I'm just, you know, I, I you know, I'm, you knew I was bisexual. Something like that. My, Damn it. I'm this so pushed your, off. yeah, this, this pushed your person off. They might have knew like this person. That could have been what I told you. Some people get caught up in that. Fa they were caught up in fantasy. Seven cups. The truth came out. They were caught up in fantasy. That could have turned your person on, to be honest, even out. Is mm -mm -mm. that really a reality check came? It was all fun and games. Now, for some of you guys, it doesn't have to be the same sex. It could have. It could have. Um, it's going to be that this person just simply left them for someone else. The same sex is going to only be for a small group of you guys, honey. But there's two princesses here, honey. Just so you know, in this deck. So for some of you guys, that's what it is. Someone here that they were with, they were trying to play you for, could have liked girls more, you know, or boys more if you're a man. You know where to put the energies, guys. 
Um, I want to see more of this. Um, I want to see your energy. I'm sorry, y'all. I should need this deck. Wow. Mm. All right. So this person got played. Now they see you having to come up. They see you doing better. They see you coming up in the world. Now they want to uh, have a conversation and talk about it. I heard if now they're available to talk about. It. So at one point in time, they wasn't acting available. Yeah, they were real distant. They could have been real ignorant. Okay. King of Swords. Yep. Mm -mm. Yeah, look at this. Now they want to tell you how they feel. The Queen of Swords and the Ace of Cups. Yeah. Yep, Six of Wands. They're hoping they're going to be victorious. Six of Pentacles. This is also someone here that might want to do something nice for you or something like that. Yes, Knight of Cups. Or be real sweet and nice out the blue. Are you hungry? You want something to eat? They want to kiss your butt a little bit. Give me more on the Empress and the Empress, please. Mm. Uh-huh, Knight of Pentacles. They're moving very slow. Six of Cups, yeah. This person has been thinking about the past, moving very slow when it comes to you in their cup. They've been juggling too financially here. Yeah. And that's and that's another thing. Seven of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. After all this, they, they don't want to come in broke. You're going to come to me. You ain't got nothing to say. Nothing. I mean, that's how they're feeling. Yeah. Six of Swords. All right. I feel like that's, you know, they don't want to look stupid, feel stupid, and then they feel broke. And, you know, but it's like you kind of did this by yourself. So I don't know. Okay. Let's see. We need some new cards. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see what's going on. What else we need to know? I don't know, y'all. We're going to use these ones. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh, child. And, and if, look, and they no longer live with this person anymore. Yep. Promise. This is, they were engaged. Yep. Mm -mm -mm. They were engaged to this person. Yep. Sweetheart in reverse. This person showed their, uh, sideways showed their true color. Look, collaboration. Yeah, they were doing all, yeah, honey. They were doing all kind of shit together. They also could have, you know, um, you know, did stuff with business. Uh, but, yeah, they did. Desire worth. Look at this. Now this person here. Yep. They left your person. I'm not going to lie. You, you know, your person has been crying. They feel overloaded. Yep. This loss that they had. This stubborn commitment here. And someone here could feel like they lost you forever with their eternal love. But they did have plans on being with this person or was trying to see if it was going to work. They weren't trying to hear nothing you had to say. They were being stubborn. They were being an a-hole. Now they are nervous. Um, The last time you checked in with this person, someone here could have lost a pet. Yep. Now they kind of want to bully you in here. Yep, I told you money. This is someone in here that's going to try to use money like as a sacrificial like lamb to get you to come, you know, taint you back in. All right. If this is someone from your past, let's get a message. We're going to use Sarah Diffany Tara. You guys check out her channel. All right, Sarah Diffany LOC. She's a dope reader. You guys know I like to support other readers on my channel. Okay. 77 is another angel number here. And 67. 77, 67 could be uh, specific for real. Um, 65 and 67, all right, also could be a specific. They're going to have 57 again. Mm. And this could be anything uh, to your birthday. You're like, uh, you could be seeing this on a license plate. Um, look up at the secret needs of the universe, the clock times, uh, your address, Okay. Also, look them up as angel numbers as we do. Okay, we already looked up that 57, 75. I think that was this reading. Really, yep. All right, what's the written message? This is someone from their family. So I'm going to get to the universe. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. This person don't want to shoot another. honey. 
Mm -mm, they don't. Uh, they don't want you to know that they look at your pictures on end and you are still beautiful to them. Okay? They don't want you to know. I, I've never truly moved on. Yep, even though it appeared that way. Nope. I mean, they couldn't if they still staring at your pictures and crying and shit. I'm scared you will not accept me now. I don't like the way my damn button been treating us lately, guys. They trying to mess with, with the energy. I don't like that shit. You better answer me when I tell it to. Alright. Now, if this is someone new, we're going to get a message, honey. Alright. And see if this is someone new. This is what you're going to be going through with this person. Alright. Okay. This could be a mate to your soul or this was a counterpart that was supposed to be in your life. Yes. Okay. Thank you. I have sexual fantasies about you. You're you deserve better um, better than me. Mm-hmm. Yep. This person know what they did. And they feel real shitty too. This is the end. I told you, death card. Yep. Mm-mm. This person knows someone here could feel like too ashamed to face you. This this betrayal was too much. My love for you is eternal. I told you there will ever be one you. I told you. Yeah. Let's get some overall messages here. Let's see what this person's um, feelings and emotions is towards you real quick. Yep, thank you. That's what they wanted me to use these cards for. <laughs> okay, I see. Let's see. What is this person's feelings and emotions toward the collective? Oh, child guilty as charged. Goddamn. Okay, this is someone here that's in your friend request. Y'all could have started talking through um, online. They could have got in your DM. They could have gave you a friend request or something like that. This is someone here um, that wants to work on a friendship again. They could be requesting that. Yep, so they can heal this. Overall messages is between the two of you. Remarkable. They, I feel like this is a remarkable connection. They feel it too, yeah, because it's spiritual. This person wants to open you back up, all right? You could have even opened this person back up as well. Yep, tested. This person was tested. They guilty. They fucking failed. I feel like you won. Yep, now they have high honor. Look at this shit. Guilt is here twice. Not only that, they recognize. This is letting me know that this person is guilty of knowing what they knew. They just wish they knew what they know now. Isn't that funny? How and that happens. Mm-hmm. And for some of you guys, this could happen in your past life. All right, let's see what your oracle messages are looking like, my love. What is the oracle messages here for the collective? Oh my beautiful universe and holy spirits. What is the oracle message? Okay. Mm. Thank you. Yep, yeah, reflection and healing. This person has been doing a lot of reflection work, all right, and healing, all right, but I don't, this person drowns in sorrow. I don't, I don't think you uh, know that. This person does kind of want to heal this with you. Look deep within your heart and feel my love. My love for you is deep as an ocean. So they still connect with you energetic wise. They could be also using like telekinesis and things of that sort. You could be getting like songs messages even spiritual biblical quotes maybe just come and pass your phone synchronicities from the universe as well from this person trying to speak to you okay all right let's get an oracle message let's see what your oracle is looking like yep i told you this person also been um in your dreams yearning longing for someone undesired separation How many people? You, yeah, fertility. This person thinks about what life would be like if you guys was like to join or to grow or if they had a kid or, you know, like, what would it be like? Like, they think about that, all right? They dream about you and them. They could be sending that energy to you, yeah. And violating of personal space. Respected boundaries and taboo. For some of you guys, you could have did a spiritual bath. Um, here also to cleanse your energy here. It worked. So you know that. All right. What's the Oracle messages? Oh, thank you. Time out. Awareness, completion, solitude, time. Look, yeah. 
this is for some of you guys uh this to be honest with you this might be a cycle um that it that is it's 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 um right now is a no the reason why i say right now here because you know those that know the twin flame journey like i said there's those of us that know about the journey then there's those of us that come from the journey some of you guys are connected with ganesha okay i just they just showed me ganesha or he just showed himself to me <laughs> um you know that your twin flame and you guys you that's a contract right so you you're going to come back and you know um fulfill that so you know this right now this is a death for now uh you know a time out yep receptive yeah allow yourself to receive allow yourself to give this person wants um you to be receptive okay to them uh-uh y'all lunar returns earthly spirituality community ocean and conversations yeah uh this person wants to return this cycle will return okay uh child vulnerability i can't make this up open your heart allow yourself to be tender um you know it's gonna take some time yeah this person has a vision yep they do child yeah they do they think a lot about this look at this falling in love oh boy you don't even see this you don't know this. You could have, like, completely just accepted things, I feel like. Like, okay, they're off. Either they're doing this or obviously they're doing that. And you just moved on. Okay, from your person. Mm. Okay. So, let's go ahead and get your signs and planets, my love. And then we'll go ahead and get you, uh... You know, your hot topics. The hot tea cards in my Wendy Williams voice. You know how we do. <laughs> Get you some specific. Yeah, honey. Uh-uh. Child. We got the eighth house mystery and Leo. For some of you guys, you had three deaths with this person. Three cycles with already of deaths with this. Okay. We have death here. We have death here. And they came up in the card. This is the end. You had three. Uh, cycles are yeah you did mm -hmm. it was, this was uncomfortable this could have been learning the same lesson with this person y'all could have been through this in three lifetimes already and it looks like this lifetime they been up to but and you're stressing me out yeah honey Child. this was something i told you this was something that was rooted between you guys that they were supposed to change they was this person yeah but they they were supposed to get their strength up and change it oh my gosh this person has been tempted by the devil i just want you to know that you could be also connected to a capricorn okay yeah aqua arian is also here this was yep this was very look at this shit Oh my God! This was this could have really hurt it. Look at this again, Scorpionic energy, rebirth, Pluto. This is the fourth death that then came out. This is crazy. Yep, that you guys gotta heal. Y'all are going into your fifth cycle up with this person on this lesson. This is crazy. This is crazy. I don't know why there is something about. They're not getting it. Just there is there is something in the air um, when it comes to your person way that they are not getting. It's like you guys are keep repeating the same cycles and having deaths in different lifetimes because they're not learning the lesson. And this is someone here that learns the lesson when it's like too late. You have moved on. It seems like in the these five life cycles, death is here five times. Oh my God, rebirth, and you guys are re reborn again. And it looks like, and if, and this is the thing, yeah, you guys could have had four cycles, and in this like cycle, it di that again, and you got to come back and do it again, or have a recycle of the same fucking lesson. Damn, this is I, I'm telling you, this is your twin flame. If this is what happens with the twin flames. Like I said, guys, I understand it. I'm a twin flame. There's, the, there's those of us that know about the journey. And there's those of us that come from the journey. 
right? So you, yes, it's fucking beautiful, but you know, those that know about the beautiful journey, you know, you know, when they, people that know and really don't come from it, cause they talk about a one sided, but the shit is deep. Okay. It's deeper than that. It's, that's what makes it so beautiful too, though. I always say that, but it's a fucking like journey. Yeah. They get cut on succubus females. And this is someone here that is worried about public recognition or the way they look or they like um, this karma could have a way of look. They, they get, they're they cut on image. For some of you guys, that's um, your, your twin that's a man here. Yep, physical death. I won't stop. Look at this shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They won't stop. It's like they won't learn this left and you guys keep dying out. Five cycles of the same fucking lesson. Sexual perversion. For sexual pleasures, it's per, you know, karmics, they like, it's, they're stuck. I told you. Child, look, now they want to get you pregnant. Someone here could have slept with a friend and family. I blocked you. They don't learn a lesson until when it's too late. For some of you guys, uh, the universe ends it. You get a chance to move on. They learn a lesson, then they wake up. And it's too late. And and, and and now you have an option. Some of you guys move on and you go ahead. You be happy. You gain a ten of pentacles, which is a spiritual inheritance. Okay, which is your birthright from the universe. And then you got to come here and learn this again with them. And it's like they're not getting. They're not getting it. Their friends is helping them watch you. Uh, look, and then some of you guys who's dealing with a karmic energy with your person, they got the person pregnant on purpose, child. I love you all. We're going to end it right there, guys. 3123 on the timer. Yeah, that's it. Um, real important before you go, guys, uh, don't forget to connect your frequency and your energy right here in this reading, other readings that you are trusting healthy. It is important, Tara, to connect, guys, your frequency, right, energy, so you are getting your messages, all right? You can do that by liking, subscribing, sharing, commenting, all those things is you staying connected, all right? So you are getting your messages, okay, guys? These are general. So they will resonate with you partly other times fully, so make sure you are stopping back to keep yourself updated on your spiritual conversations and messages. I love you. You all stay dope. I'll catch you next time you stop by in your next video upload. I'll show you in a month.